So, uh, hi everyone, my name is Edith Levine. I'm the founder and CEO of Solo.io. Solo is a company focusing on application networking, which means that we're doing everything we need in order to make your application need all the connectivity, security, and observability that it's need. Um, we have, uh, we're running some of the biggest STO deployment in the world, including uh, a, a hundreds of customers all over the world. We have recently uh, raised another $135 million in a billion dollar valuation. We make us a unicorn. More important than this, we are really, really strongly participate in the Istio community. So some of the people who are working in Solo is people like Christian Posta, who wrote the last uh, Istio in Action book. Olin San and, uh, and Raj, who are two of the TOC members from the five who exist in the ecosystem of Istio. But Solo is all about that, which means that everyone working in Solo is focusing on service mesh. So what are we doing? So we basically have a platform, it's called Glue. And in that platform, we have two building blocks. The first one is Glue Gateway, and the other one is Glue Mesh. So it's kind of like deep dying to what it is this. So Glue Gateway is very simple, right? We basically took the STO uh, a, a gateway and worked for the last five years with our customers to build the best API gateway that exists in the market. Basically, it's very simple. We had a developer portal, like a, a external auth with pluggability, rate limiting, um, a transformation, everything you need in order to, make, including federation, including to make your gateway, the default gateway of STO, working as a full-blown API gateway. But we heard from our customers that they are very excited about GraphQL. So we kind of like push the limit a little bit more. What we have for them is that basically the application team interesting in GraphQL and they're coming to them and ask them to basically forward all the traffic to this GraphQL server. And in the GraphQL server, the application team is basically need to do quite a lot of stuff in order to Make it, make it happen. They need to create a schema and resolvers. They need to build it. They need to make sure that security apply, and so on and so on. There is quite a lot of burden here. And also, everything right now is with extra hop. So we kind of like we're thinking, what can we do in order to actually save that for our customer? And what we did, we basically took GraphQL and built it into Envoy, right? So basically, right now, we teach Envoy how to be a GraphQL server. So now, the only thing that the user need to give us is basically a schema and a resolver. There is a lot of built-in, but you can also write your own WASM resolver. And then everything else is declarative, right? You basically can, and we just will get a request of GraphQL and know how to do this, including even stitching. So it's pretty unique. So that's what is Gateway, pretty simple concept. In Glue Mesh, we basically are STO destroy. So if you think about it, you know, you guys all probably know how STO is working. But if you only have one cluster with STO, we're already doing quite a lot for you to make sure that you are successful. We first of all upstream first, right? We are working a lot with the community. If there is anything that we need to put upstream, we are putting it upstream. Besides that, we have a special build like FIPS and ARMS and anything else you need. We're giving you N minus four if you, you know, because at least our customers are not upgrading every three months. And we make sure that if there is any uh, CVE, we basically both forward them to all of that. Besides that, we're taking over your life cycles of STO management, if you're interested in this. And we also put a lot of functionality that our customer ask, like cert rotation, and brought all the functionality of uh, external lot and rate limiting to the east-west as well. Okay, so that's great, but no one running one cluster. So now the question is, what do you sue? Our customer is running between five clusters to 100 clusters. We even have a, the biggest customers who's basically running on 60 data centers with thousands of instances of STO all over the world. So the question is, what are you going to do? Come to each of your STO and kind of like configure it? No, you need to build something. So we kind of like build it for you. That's the management plan. That giving us the ability to basically discuss in, Get all the life cycles of your STO, push configuration in a very secure relay architecture, and make sure that all your infrastructure is working really well. Because we have a picture of all the clusters, we can do also route based locali lo locality and basically make sure that if the user here is not available on the same cluster, it will fall over to the cluster next, to the region next, to the data center next, and so on. That plus the gateway and the developer portal give you everything you need in order to basically run your application. 
In Glue Mesh, there is one more feature that is extremely important, which is, you know, kind of like come to the basic of what we're doing service mesh. Why are we excited about service mesh? Why are we excited about Kubernetes altogether? I mean, th there is one aim to it, and that aim is basically to run your infrastructure and care of part of it and delegate it to your application room team. That's basically all the reason that we're doing the thing that we're doing. So that's exactly why we basically create the concept of workspace that is giving you exactly that ability. This is the admin view, right? So basically now, as an admin, I can see my cluster and understand that and my STO and everything that I need and also the workspace. But if I'm the application owner, I don't need to know anything about that. I'm only going to view the C, my view on my workspace with observability to my workspace, and the ability to basically also import and export policy and destination. Okay, so that's what we have. This is what the Glue platform is. But I'm really excited today to introduce another piece to the puzzle. And that's basically the Glue network. So what is the Glue network? From today, basically, Glue will drive CNI and Kubernetes network policy. Think about it, in that demo, which I cannot show you because I don't have enough time, we basically have two clusters. On those clusters, you have Estio. In one of them, you have Cilium. In the other one, you basically have a Caligo. You have a, a, both of them registered to the management plane. And basically, in order to create defense in depth, when you're telling me that one, one, one service cannot talk to the other one, we are going to translate, to translate it to a STO configuration, but we're also going to, to, to actually translate it to Cilium or to Caligo in that case, right? So think about what we're just doing. We basically take the leverage of the orchestration, right, and the multi-cluster, and the multi-tenancy, and the workspace, and bringing this power to Cilium and to Caligo and to other any SNI that you're interested in. So that's great. But we actually personally really, really hot about eBPF. You know, in the last conference, me and Yuval talked about how you can actually um, supercharge your service mesh and kind of like leveraging technology like eBPF. We basically talk in STOCon about the same concept, about sideless, basically, uh, with eBPF versus side sidecar in service mesh. We wrote a blog that explaining this, and even internally, after working for two years with eBPF, was extremely important to us to give the community the tooling that we built, Bumblebee, which is basically a docker for eBPF that allows you to run it, to build it, to run it, to deploy it, and share. So. Because we are so excited about eBPF, it's really important to us that our platform will have better included but swappable. So we will drive any CNI that you want, but we're also going to ship you Cilium. And we're going to do exactly what we're doing with Estia, but right now with Cilium. So basically, we will glue them together, we'll make sure that they work seamlessly together, and we will make it extremely, extremely easy for you, the customer. So again, it's better included by swappable. You don't have to use Cilium. But if you do, we'll give you support and make sure that we are patching it. So basically, we'll do exactly what we're doing with STO, right? If you're interested in it, it's coming for free with our product, right? If you're not interested in our product, which is totally fine, we will give you support, uh, enterprise support on Cilium. We are very into education. And therefore, what we're going to, you know, we have a big platform of uh, workshop and certificate program for STO and Envoy. Now we added recently eBPF and now Cilium as well. And Lin San, who is in the TLC member of STO, is going to do a hood and going to talk about the people who are working on it for years behind the scene. So what are we giving you? We're giving you a platform, right, that has three building blocks, Glue Gateway, Glue Mesh, and Glue Network. You can decide which one you want to choose. Each of them is a standalone product, but you can miss the match and basically make it seamlessly working together. So we are solo. Uh, if you are interested in working with STO, Envoy, eBPF, or Cilium, we are hiring and we would love to have you aboard. Thank you so much. <laughs>